here we have a, an ASUS Vivo Tab 810. We're going to open up and explore the insides. So with this ASUS Vivo Tab 810, it comes with a screen and a keyboard. The screen can be removed to be used as a tablet and the keyboard houses an extra battery. So combined together, you get a lot of hours of battery life. I don't remember how much, apparently it advertises a few. So we're going to use the ASUS tablet first, then open the keyboard later. So now that we have the ASUS tablet separate, for this you're going to need your prime tool. Just getting my prime tool. So the top half here is plastic, the bottom half is metal, and we need to pry open the top part half first to remove. The top half is plastic and it's only held down by clips. So just get your prying tool and start removing it. Please remove it around the edge and do not remove it where the the metal and the plastic hits each other as it's how it, it comes off. It need comes off one side first before it comes off the other. So I'm just going to zoom in. There's two screws holding the metal part down on the motherboard and two screws on the other side of the, at the bottom of the tablet where the dock connects. So here there's one screw there and one screw here. So you need to slide it down. This actually slides down if you removed all the screws. As I forgot to remove the two bottom screws, I'll just show you where they are now. There's one screw there, and there's another screw on the other side. I just need to change screwdrivers for this. Please note um, the Asus Tab, the Asus Vivo Tab 810 uses two types of screwdrivers. It uses your normal Phillips head screwdriver, and it uses a top. T3 screwdriver. So if you haven't prepared both of them, don't open it up. So now that I removed the two screws on the bottom, I just need to slide it off. And it comes off. When you put it back, remember to put your release hinge button in properly before you start screwing everything in. So this black thing is the battery, two sides of the speakers, this is where CPU and RAM is. So we're gonna, I'm just pointing to these tabs, we're going to have to remove these tabs. You, pry, uh, you lift up the white part, the white part is the clip. So you need to remove all these tabs so you can remove the battery. The yellow things on the tab are just stick tape. So it's okay if you dirty them or you get rid of them, as they're not that important. There's another tab here. Remove the battery, you just need your Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm just pointing out the uh, screws. So this screw here I'm removing is your battery, where your battery connects to your motherboard. There's two of them. These screws are slightly smaller, so put them separate. And 
then to remove the battery screws you need the Torque T3 screwdriver to remove it. So after you remove the battery, just lift it up and it comes off. You can replace the battery if your battery has been dead. So now we're going to remove the motherboard. You need to remove the little small tabs first. There's two screws holding this your micro SD card reader down so I'm just pointing out the screws you need to remove it should be seven, I believe. You remove these seven screwdrivers screws with your Torque T3. Please note you need to remove your micro SD card slot or reader first before you do this. to remove this. I believe this is your BIOS battery. Be careful, try not to pull on the strings as you actually might rip them. They're fragile. Try to pull it out by the plastic that attaches it in. You always have to remove this other cable tab. I believe this is your NFC. And after that you can just lift up your motherboard and it comes off. Room to wobble it a bit as there's <laughs> adhesive holding it down. Room to remove this, that's your wireless antenna. And the other one I'm removing, that's your speaker cable. And here we go. This is your motherboard, which you can't do anything or replace. Uh, you can't replace anything on it. So now we're going to move over to the keyboard to remove the back of the keyboard and remove the battery. So here's our keyboard. You're going to need to flip your keyboard around. I already removed the screws on the back, just to advise you. So just can point out the screws here. So there's six T3 screws. And also there are screws under the feet. There's four of them and you can use your Phillips head screwdriver for it. And here are the feet. The feet are not all the same. Not all feet go in not a feet can't just go in any hole. So look at the feet carefully before you remove it. And you're gonna need your prime tool to go around the around it to pop off the back.
So here we have the battery, and here's your extra daughter board. To remove, remember to remove the cable off your battery first, and there's a few screws holding your battery down. So the battery, the battery cable just comes off by lifting it up. You don't have to drag it out. And removing the battery, you can use your Phillips head screwdriver. Now you can replace your battery if you need to. Please note both of the batteries are not the same. The keyboard battery is different from the tablet battery, so you have to buy separate ones to replace it. You need to remove this cable so we can remove the so we can remove the st uh, connecting stand. So there's four screws on each side. You need to remove the connecting stand first before you can remove the daughter board. So after you remove all the 8 screws, 4 on each side, you can just take it off. So you're going to have to remove the keyboard cable. And you have to remove the mouth pad cable. So just pointing out all the screws that you have to remove, there should be 6, and there's an extra 2 where you need your T3 screwdriver for, it's where the power cable connects. As you see here, I forgot to remove the two screws holding the power connector down, or the power where the power plugs in. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching. This disassembly is rather pointless as only by opening it up you only really can change the battery and nothing else. So if your battery dies you actually can change it. But besides that there is actually no reason for you to open it up. That's about it. Thanks for watching.